Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book haul. We gonna be here a while, so grab some snacks, grab a drink, and sit down. And we're gonna go over everything that I found. Some of this is, most, most of this is a library, library sale. Every, in the warmer months, um, my library always has either fill a bag for a dollar, or, um, well they always have paperbacks for 25 cents and hardcovers for 50 cents. So, um, but this time they had some really good stuff that I've been looking forward to and some stuff that I wanted to give a chance to. First and foremost, I'm going to get this out of the way. Um, I got the, um, let's see here, this is Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. But I am already, I'm reading this with my buddy Jake LaFrance. Um, some of you might know him from stream. I'm already 557 pages into it on chapter 37. But I got this because I found all... I can't hold all these up at one time. But I found the first six books. So I got Eye of the World, The Great Hunt, The Dragon Reborn, uh, The Shadow Rising, The Fires of Heaven, and Lord of Chaos. I got all six of them for a dollar fifty, so a quarter a piece, and I couldn't pass it up. They are some of them are in terrible condition. Like I think it's this one. Um, yeah, see, they're just they're coming apart. But I can I can always take them together. And for a quarter a piece, you yeah, can't really beat it. At the um, at the same time, same day, I found this because it looked I like weird, and I'm trying to give fantasy another chance. If you guys know me, I don't care too much for fantasy, but I'm trying to give it another chance. So I got this one because it looked interesting. Um, Tad Williams' Other World. Uh, somebody told me this was more sci-fi than fantasy because it deals with VR, but um, anyways, we'll give it a shot. My buddy Linton told me a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away that uh, Sarah Douglas was good, so I grabbed the Wayfarer Redemption. This was another quarter. Um, unless I tell you any different, these books were a quarter. So that's the Wayfarer Redemption. And then we got this monster. I am collecting these in audiobook the Brandon Sanderson Stormlight Archive books, but book one was only a quarter at the library, so I grabbed it. I would read along with it. I think I even had the e-book, because the, when uh, the second book in this series came out, the, the e-book for this was only $1.99, and I grabbed that, so I actually have three different copies of it. But I'll be able to listen to the audiobook and read it, read this one. Uh, but I'm not actually going to start it until all ten books are done. Yeah, it's going to be a while. So next up, I found... Black Cross, which is one of Greg Isles' first books, I think. I'm not sure if this is a sequel to Spandau Crossing or Rising or whatever it's called. Uh, Sp sorry, Spandau Phoenix. But uh, it, this is a, about the Nazis, and I believe his first book was about the Nazis also. Okay, next up, I couldn't pass this up. For you, those of you that like vintage 80s horror, this is... Uh, I'm not. Well, I'm probably never going to read it, but the cover is amazing. So there you go. I'll show you guys my uh, my paperback horror collection some point in time. But right now, I don't like the hype train too much. And right now, Grady Hendrix's uh, paperbacks from hell has got everybody showing off their collection. So I'll wait until all that dies down until I shut before I show off mine. So again, Joyride. This is by Stephen Cry. Uh, someone I've never even heard of. All right. Next up, something I'm super stoked about. Um, Let's see here. I'm trying to get all of them. So, I found these two. As I lay dying and sound the fury, I found these two one day, and then I went back a week later and I found Light in August and Sanctuary. The coolest part about that, these, sorry, is that. Oh no! Please don't bend. They're already in bad enough condition. They're all part of a set. Well, I don't think Sanctuary is, but you see the face. Yeah, cool. So, I got that one. Um, I'm reading Infinite Jest right now with my wife, and once I get done, we will probably tackle The Sound of Fury together, because it's one of those books you have to take a take a while with. Um, and that's what we've been doing. We've been going through the tougher books together. Uh, the Devil and the White City by Eric Larson. Murder, Magic, and Madness at the Fair that Changed America. I have not read this guy yet, but I have his other one, what is it, Dead Wake, something like that, about the Lusitania. Um, and I'm really interested in this one. It's nonfiction, by the way. And I've heard nothing but good things about Eric Larson. Um, another one that was a quarter at the library 
is Franz Kafka's The Castle. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm hot. It's hot out here, and i got to turn the air conditioning off so I can do these videos. So, this is The Castle. Uh, I've not been able to get into the metamorphosis other than the audiobook um, because of the way Kafka writes, um, but I'm willing to give him another chance, and this was only a quarter, so it's whatever, right? Next, I told y'all this is going to be a long video. So next up, I, this is one that uh, the hype train kind of came through on, and I ignored it because of that. But uh, this is All the Missing Girls by Megan Miranda. Um, I've heard some really bad stuff about this one, but I figured I'd give it my own chance, give it my own shot. Um, now, if you guys watched the vlog that I did about me spilling my coffee, this is one of the ones that got the brunt of it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's brown... Can they see it? They can't see it? Okay. Um, well, anyway, there's more stains on the side. I'll try to show you guys in another one. Maybe it'll come up. It'll come up better. Okay, uh, next up, this one, uh, just, this is nothing but some cover love. Winterwood by Patrick McCabe. Uh, I couldn't, look at, look at that cover, y'all. I couldn't pass that up. This is a, I think this was a 50 cents, because this is a hard cover. I'm not sure it might have been a quarter. I wasn't really paying attention. But either way, I mean, nothing else is going to look nice on the shelf. Look at that Joker. It makes me think of Bone White by uh, Ronald Malfi. Alright, next up. This, I thought this was cool. Uh, the Ghost Map. The story of London's most terrifying epidemic and how it changed science, cities, and uh, the modern world. Do we need to do something? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I thought I was getting signals. Okay. Uh, it's a national bestseller. It's by Stephen Johnson, the author of Everything Bad is Good for You. Um... I have no idea what this is about. It's the summer of 1854, and London is seized by a violent outbreak of cholera that no one knows how to stop. An epidemic spreads. A maverick physician and a local, cur and a local curate are spurred to action. So, I'm not going to lie. Once again, I got it for the cover because the cover is really nice. So, um, this has got some really cool artwork. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's some really cool artwork on the spine. All right, next up. Uh, the Great Fire by Shirley... Hazard. This is a uh, publisher love buy because I love Farrar, Strauss, and Garou, I think it is. FSG. FSG Originals on Twitter. Um, these guys published the grip of it. They published a lot of uh, Victor Laval stuff. They are a terrific publish com publishing company and the na this one won the National Book Award. I'm not sure if this is fiction or non-fiction, but I am looking forward to it. Um, this is probably one I'll get to pretty soon. The Great Fire of the Second World War has convulsed Europe and Asia. In its wake, Aldrich Lath, an acclaimed hero of the conflict, has spent two years in China at work on an account of world-transforming change there. Huh. Son of, the, son of a famed and sexually ruthless novelist, Lath begins to resist his own self-sufficiency nurtured by war. Huh. Interesting. So I'm guessing I'm, it's got to be fiction, right? I mean, that sounds like, sounds like fiction. So, alright, now we're going to get into the new stuff, or the stuff for review. Uh, first, this is Haruki Murakami's newest collection, Men Without Women. Um, this came out, I didn't even know this was coming, y'all. I had this on pre-order, and I'm not sure if you can see it, but this is the one that I'm really upset about, because this one got the coffee on it really bad. Um, almost the whole, not, it's not the spine, but almost all the paper is brown. Um, but this one, I, I'm not too big on his short story collections, but of course I'm adding it to my collection because it's uh, the same theme as the other books. Alright, uh, next up. Last two are for review. They were sent to me for review. And this one is uh, sent to me by uh, Atria Publishing, Leave No Trace, by Mindy... I'm, I'm going to screw this up. Mindy... Mejia? 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 I don't know. Anyways... So, I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, there is a book ahead of this one, Everything You Want Me To Be, but they said this is a standalone. So, if you guys have read either one of these, but especially if you've read Everything You Want Me To Be, let me know if I need to read that one first. This one doesn't come out until September. I'm looking forward to grabbing it. Um, looking forward to reading it. Uh, I may be going to grab the first one. I'm not sure. Okay. So, last but not least, um, you guys might remember my, uh, my review for Frederick Bachman's uh, Bear Town. This is the sequel. Atria sent me this for review also. Um, it's probably one of my more anticipated uh, reads of the year because I enjoyed Bear Town so much. But yeah, so I know this is a longer video, and if you hung around, that's cool. Um, I appreciate it. 
Uh, let's see here. Is there anything else? I think that's everything. Um, let me know what you guys got this month. No, The Outsider by Stephen King is not here yet. I'm shooting this before it comes out. Um, this video won't go up until Wednesday, but I'll be doing an unboxing and everything of that. Well, you guys will have already seen it because the video will already, already have been up, right? So, what am I even talking about? Anyways, so until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book haul video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!